Yeah, well, no, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't really want to be blind, you know what I mean? No. I would wish it. No. If you see what I mean. Mm. But I think like if I was blind, I know that I feel like I'd still be happy within Yeah. In a kind of way, you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't feel so happy because I'd find it difficult getting around, you know what I mean? I'd yeah. be bumping into everything, you know. Mm. And I'd probably need to learn, you know, how to be blind. How to navigate. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. I wouldn't like life, you know, life wouldn't be so good. No. Do you know what no, I mean? But no. I feel like I've found happiness, that's for sure. You know, I've seen mm. all the stars, if you see what I mean. I've, mm. I've seen enough. To, to have memories. Well, I've mm. seen more than a blind man, haven't I? Mm. Mm. You know, at least I've seen, seen yeah. a lot. Yeah, true. You know, because I have, you know, I've seen, I've watched a lot of films. Yeah, give you in the last, In the last 58 years, I've done a lot. I can't remember all of it, you know. Of course. Yeah. If you sort of mean, it's it's a lot to remember. Mm. If you sort of mean, Let's try recap. Fifty eight years. How many days is that? Do you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, you don't remember the first sort of seven years, really, do you? you know what I mean, uh, your first five years of life. Well, I think you do. Life. I think after three, you kind of start to remember stuff. I think. Well, personally, for me, I think it was after the age of like three. Yeah. My earliest memories are like. Yeah, I do remember. One of my earliest memories, I was about two. Yeah. One of my earliest memories, to be honest, I was about yeah. two. That was just before we moved to the Caribbean. Not long before my parents got divorced. I remember it was Christmas. I was two years old. And I remember running and jumping on their bed. Two years old. But that's the earliest memory I've had. I don't remember anything else. I don't remember. I haven't got I can't remember anything before that. No, I think I was... And then my other earliest memory is moving to the Caribbean. And getting off, I remember arriving at the house we'd moved to, you know what I mean? That, you know, when we'd moved there, and obviously we had a house and everything ready, you know, to move into and all that kind of thing. Mm. And I remember, I remember when the container arrived, I had a tractor, like a digger type thing, like a JCB digger type thing with pedals on it, if you see what I mean, and a steering wheel that I could drive around on. And I remember taking it out, helping my mum and dad unload the container. Well, not my mum, well, my mum, well, it, yeah, my mum and my stepdad, sorry, at the time. Um, helping them unload the container, even being very young, and getting my dig around the container, and jumping on it, and going down the hill, if you see what I mean, yeah. like bloody 20 miles, oh, yeah. about three years old, and I remember getting on this digger and going down this hill at 20 miles an hour, mm. and almost crashing, if you see what I mean, like thankfully I was able to kind of like turn the steering wheel kind of like, and it kind of went into the sidewalk kind of thing, if you see what I mean, it crashed and stopped, if you see what I mean. Um, but I didn't get hurt or anything. But I remember only being three years old. I shouldn't have done that really, but obviously I was only three. If you see what I mean. And I got onto my, like I said, I got sat down on my tractor thingy. Mm. But where we were living, we were living at the top of this hill at the time. The first ever house we lived in was at the top of a hill. Yeah. And the hill was a bit like this. Like very quite steep, if you see what I mean. So I literally went straight down the hill on this thing. Right. <laughs> and that's the other earliest memory I remember. Mm -hmm. Going, ah! <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah. I mean, you can't remember every day though, can you? Can you remember? Yeah. But I, mean, I, I think I, we remember, what we do remember in our early days is sort wait, of like... The, isn't it funny though how your mind kind of works like a catalogue though in a, in a way? Because like you can say, okay, I want to go back and remember what happened between the years of this, between this year and this year. Mm. If you get what I mean, between the ages of 7 to 10, what was I doing? What was I doing at that time? Where, where was I going to school? Who were my friends? If you see what I mean. Um, what were, what were my hobbies, my interests, my passions at that time? Um, I mean, your childhood will always live inside you. See, that's the thing. But like, it's funny like how you can remember it. Like those different time periods in your life, though, it's funny how you can kind of like go into your brain, go into yeah. your memory, yeah. and sit down with your eyes closed. If you see what I mean, and remember and, and mm. kind of like recap, like that's recap right. and kind of like visualize that in your mind. If you see what I mean what you were doing at that time and like I said who your friends were who you were interacting with you like you like you know yeah I mean it's like my brother sometimes you know he comes and we talk and he said he reminds me of things that happened you're right and yeah. like you know then it, it comes to me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you see what I mean mm, mm. And, but I would have totally forgotten it yeah. if he did mention it you I get you yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean there's a lot of things like are in our in, within us mm. that we can't see yeah you sort of mean funny enough in it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Unless you kind of look around in your own memories in a kind of way. It's like a it's like a maze in there, isn't it? In a mm. funny way, you know, it's a maze of memories. And um, it's I mean, 
like I say, your childhood never, it's always there, you know, it, it's always a memory. And each year as I'm getting older, I'm still trying to remember my childhood, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's quite good really, because you, you know, in, in maybe five years time, I, I will remember my, you know, my whole life a little bit better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm sort of recapping on it every day, mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not every day, all the time, do you know what I mean? But I just think like, I do believe like we do get more magical as we get older, right? But, but I think people give up. Yeah. That's the thing. But what you were saying just now, what I wanted to say about what you were saying just now in, in connection with what you were saying is, in order to make progress, yeah. you have to do self-reflection. Self-reflection, and just reflection in general, if you see what I mean, on your life, if you see what I mean. In order to advance and to move forward, you have to, you have to analyse, if you see what I mean, your previous, you know, your previous steps, if you see what I mean. Because, like they say, it's insanity to... If you want different results, in order, if you keep doing the same thing and you're expecting new results, that's the definition of insanity, as they say. If you see what I mean, you know, if you're doing something and it's not working for you, and it's not helping you in any way, it's not beneficial to your life or any way, it's it's bringing you problems and negativity and whatever else to your life, then just try to eliminate those things from your life. If you see what I mean. Can't make progress, you know. So sometimes you might have people in your own immediate circle that you have to kind of like distance yourself from, if you see what I mean. And kind of like cut ties to a degree, if you see what I mean. And kind of separate yourself from them, if you see what I mean. Um, because sometimes there might be people around you that they drag you, know, you. Yeah, they might be jealous of you, of your what you got going on, or what's right. happening in your life, or. Oh, no, friends like that. There, there can be envious and it's just like you know friends friendships not supposed to be like that you know if you're supposed to be a friend you're supposed to be happy for your friend to be happy and, and you don't want a, i don't feel like you should have a friend who makes you unhappy no no yeah you want friends that make you happy yeah and people that are going to give you good advice in life and guide you and be positive and and bring value to your life. Bring progress to your bring life. Bring progress to your life, exactly. You know, I mean, since I've met you, mm. it's all been progress, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, probably, it's probably why we're doing the show, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we're, we're both positive people. men, aren't we, whatever, you know, do you know what I mean? We're very positive, you know, and um, my attitude, you know, I kind of like love everything sure right you know every tree yeah every you know everything you mm. know every flower yeah i love every person out there honestly mm. that's my attitude right but i kind of forgive them yeah you know that's my you know i love every baby out there mm. put it that way you know every child mm. every born child yeah doesn't matter where they're from mm. i've got them i love them all yeah a, a baby's a baby to me yeah you know and i've got no what do you call it prejudice prejudice yeah know whatever inside of me yeah. you know or hate mm. and um like i know that a lot of people are pretty nasty out there do you know what i mean but i just kind of like forgive them because they're just not educated and the them. thing is is that that's not like a progressive state of mind to be in either you know if you're if you're someone that's got common sense yeah and just got a little bit of logic you don't have to have a lot of common sense and a lot of logic to understand the fact that no one has a choice, like we talk about all the time. No one has a choice where they're born, who their parents are going to be, what the country they're going to be born into, what religion they might have to adhere to based upon their parents' beliefs and, and customs and cultures, etc. Um, they don't have a choice in who their siblings are going to be, who their family is going to be. They don't have a choice on a lot of things, if you see. I mean, we just are born into this world. Our parents get together. They either have a, a nice long relationship and then, you know, they plan to have you and, and, and that, or you come along by mistake, you know, people get together, they have sex, unprotected sex, before you know it, someone's pregnant, baby on the way, here you are, if you see what I mean. And that's just a reality, if you see what I mean. No one has a choice as to what they look like. Or even the Queen, all right, who, who died yeah. not long ago. She couldn't help being or being crowned the queen. No, yeah, she was. You know, she was born. She was born yeah. and they knew she was going to be queen. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, she was born into that. Into you know, the, you, into can't, the, you yeah. can't sort of attack her for what she done because yeah. that's what, you know what she was born to be. Yeah, you know. Mm. Yeah. I just, I, you know, I just feel like everyone should 
really accept each other. I mean, of course, of course, it makes me unhappy that some people are out there do bad things to other people. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. not going to make me happy. I don't like seeing that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I kind of forgive people in a kind of way because I know that they've had bad education at school. Yeah. You know, they just not had no philosophy, or no love. Yeah. Something's gone wrong in their life. Do you know what I mean? For them to be like that. Yeah. That's what I know. I mean, for someone to, you know, because even there's a lot of men out there that are quite weird. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, especially for women and all that, you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And they might do, you know, take advantage of young girls and things like that, you know. And again, it is down to education and these people are not loved, you know what I mean, yeah. you know. Whatever person is out there doing something wrong, it is down to education. It's simple, you know, they're, they're not, no philosophy at school, disgusting, mm. disgusting. Mm. You know, my, my schooling, I look at it, look back at it and it was disgusting. Mm. You know, I, could, I, I could be a better teacher, mm. you know, mm. I could. Yeah. I could teach children philosophy, mm. you know, and I know that, I know what children want, you know what I mean, I understand children. Because yeah. I'm kind of a child, you know, I'm half a child myself, you know, mm. I'm one of these... I'm, I'm growing up, but I'm still a child, yeah. you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm a kind of man that would go out there and go on a swing, mm. you, you with me, mm. you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a child, yeah. I call it a man child or something, you know, mm. a man that never grows up, but I, I am growing up, yeah. but I don't want to lose my childhood for nothing, do you know what I mean, I still want to sometimes behave like a child if I want to, mm. you know, I don't want to give it up. Yeah. If you know what I mean, I don't think anyone should. Mm. You, know, you, you are what you are, aren't you? Mm. you know, we, we've all got a child, which is, you know, a bit of child in us, mm. you know, sort of thing. Yeah. The inner child, as they call it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but as, just to wrap it up, in terms of progress, you know, as we're coming, you know, coming up towards the end of our show tonight, um, I think. The more the younger you are, it's the, the, what am I trying to say? What's that? Like? The younger you are, the, the more I think the, the younger you figure out what you're trying to do in life, like I always say, the better. Because the sooner that you can work towards, as soon as you can identify what you're passionate about and what you want to do, and as soon as you can identify that goal in which you're trying to achieve and this, the younger you are and the sooner that you can you can try to work towards that the better the higher your chance of success if you see what i mean um and obviously that is the goal if you see what i mean everyone has their own definition of success everyone has different things that they want to achieve some people's success is literally chilling out every day not doing anything if you see what i mean other people have different, you know, some people, are, you know, everyone has, has, has their, like I just said, has their own definition, it's subjective, everyone, you know, if you see what I mean, it's opinion based. Um, we all have our own goals and things that we're passionate about and things that we want to achieve, our dreams, quote unquote, um, that we all have, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, it's about, you know, the sooner that, you know, the younger you are, if you're, if, you know, if you're a young person out there and you, you know, you're watching this and you come across this episode and you, um, hear what we're talking about, I just want to encourage you to just try, like I said, just try and figure out as young as you can what you want to do with your life and where you want to go, uh, because time goes very, very quickly and before you know it, you're going to be a grown up and you're going to have to face the harsh realities of this world um, and everything else that comes along with that, if you see what I mean, and trying to survive and try to be independent in this world, if you see what I mean, and try to maintain a decent lifestyle, you know, when you're not struggling and then living check to check and, and, and you know, worrying every month about how you're going to pay your rent and your bills, if you see what I mean, and constantly being in a state of stress and fear and worry. The um, thing is, with the positive, you know, up, going up and up, you know, it does mm, put a strain on society, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, it, it makes people unhappy. Yeah. Which, you know, that's dangerous, you see. Mm. You know, everybody is trying to be happy in this world. Mm. Every that's why I always I just encourage people to be productive with their time you know even if you've got to work like I'm the type of person that i got to work but I still do a lot of shit every week like I still find time to write my songs every week if you see what I mean I work I work close to you know I work 40 plus hours a week if you see what I mean 
and I've got a wife and kids on top of that, like my wife works and then she's at work, I'm with my kids and I'm at, you know, I've got other things to do. Um, but I still find time to write my songs every week, I still find time to do a podcast every week, I still find time to do lots of things every week, if you see what I mean. It's all progress, it's, right? just, it's, all progress. it's all progress and it's also about how much you value things. You will allocate the time and find time to do the things in life in which you deem to be important, if you see what I mean. If you get me. That's just a reality for everyone in life. The things that you that are important to you and the things that you want to do, you will make the time and you will put the time in, if you see what I mean. You will invest the time into working towards what you want to do, if you see what I mean. So, you know. So. I mean, more, I think, like, I try to do as much as possible in one day. Yeah. yeah. And I think sometimes it don't matter what you do as long as you're doing something, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, it's no good sort of like doing housework day after day and day after day, after day do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, you're not doing anything else. Yeah. Going out or learning anything, do you know what I mean? Because mm. you're just, it's like living in the cave, day, yeah, you, you know? Yeah. I mean, housework to me, I, you know, I, I don't, it's, you know, I don't like it, but I know that I've got to do it. You've got to do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I love keeping my house up together, clean, organised, yeah. right? Mm. So I can get on with other things, mm. really. I can draw, I can yeah. art, you know, I can do music. Exactly. You know, I can get on with everything I want to now. Mm. You know what I mean? That's what I do, actually. I make sure all, any letters that come in, I sort them out straight away. Mm. Right? So there's no, you know, I know where I'm at now, do you know what I mean? All the time. Mm. So I'm dealing with the problems. We all get problems, you know. I don't know if I'm going to get a letter tomorrow, do you know what I mean? You know, you, you know, with something else in it, do you know what I mean? And I just have to deal with it, or I don't know, you know. But anyway, I just get on and I do as much as possible, you know. But I know that I've got to fit my bath in, I've got to fit my sleep time in, which mm. is very important, you know. I'm at, you know, I'm never used to thinking about sleep, you know. We had an episode on sleep once, didn't we? Mm. And how sleep is so important. How healthy it makes you feel if you had a good sleep. Yeah, yeah. How you can get on with the next day, you know, and progress. You know, mm. you, if you had had a good sleep, you can do, you know, progress very well. You know, you're tired, you're angry. Mm. You know, and I think like a lot of people go into work tired and angry. Yeah. You know, I mean, sometimes like at work, like mm. I mean, I used to work at Tesco's, you know, stacking shelves and things, you know. Yeah. And I thought, when I got there, I'd work as hard as I can, you know, because I'm a fast worker, you know, I've got a lot of energy in me, you know, quite strong, you know. And I'm kind of like nearly twice as fast as most average person, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, hang on, I'm not getting paid just the same as much. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no progress yeah. in a kind of way. You know, I'm actually killing, lose, killing myself. For no reason. You know, don't kill yourself, <laughs> if you yeah. know what I mean, you know. Mm. You know, you've got to be intelligent, you know what I mean? Like, your own time. Work on your own time. Work on yourself more than you do in your job. Yeah, you in your own time. In yeah. your own time, yeah. Because mm. you are, in a kind of way, you, you know, it is an employment in it yourself. In well, the, there's, that, a job. there's that saying that there's a saying that says that you know they give you a paycheck to make you forget about your dreams. They give you a paycheck yeah. every month to make you forget. But the thing yeah. is, is that like you said, it's so important that. If you work eight hours a day, you should be going home. When you get home from work, you should be at least doing, spending at least two to three hours yeah. working towards whatever it is that you want to achieve. If you see what I mean, like if you have, if you're a very, a very ambitious person and you there is something you want to achieve, if you see what I mean, you should be spending at least yeah. two hours a day working towards that. If you see what I mean, right. like you know, um, well, in some, in some well, way. I'm enjoying life today because I'm not at Tesco's anymore. Do you mm. know what I mean? You know, working eight hours a day. Or yeah. Like, more like I used to when I was married, do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's not, you know, when I was working there, it's not like I could sort of get my paints and all this and put a sort of paint thingy up, you know, whatever you call those, what do you call them? Those uh, tri tripods, whatever you call them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And put your painting on and start painting, all right? Yeah. And, and the manager would come up to me and say, what are you painting? And I said, well, I'm painting the aisles. And the customers were like, get, get, get out of here, you're sacked. Yeah, you're sacked, you're off, man. You know what I mean? You know, you're not free to yeah. sleep. No, you're because not, essentially you're, it, it's a, there's an exchange going on. Yes. They, they're paying yeah. you for your time, essentially. Yeah. They're, pay, they're paying you... So you've got you, to stand up like a soldier. Yeah, so ba the basically they're saying, okay, we'll pay you £11 an hour for your time. Yeah. Or £10 an hour, or £15 an hour, or yeah. £20. Pound, however, however many pounds an hour the job is, you know. 
Yeah, and I, I mean, I couldn't take my sleeping bag there and sort of like, you know, have a nap for a couple of hours, you know, mm. and then carry on with my work and do my job, you know what I mean? Because everyone had their own aisle, you know, and then I did my aisle quickly and they said, oh, we're going out with someone else now, you know, that's someone lazy, you know. And it's just like politics, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's a, you know, and I slowed down in the end, you know, I thought, I'm pacing myself out, I'm not working too fast, you know. And then I'll go home, I'm, I'm going to have a nice sleep and relax because I'm not knackered, you know what I mean? You know, so don't worry your guts out, don't kill yourself, do you know what I mean? It's no progress at all, mm. if you sort of mean, if you kill yourself, is it? Mm. You know, do work as slow as you can, but yeah. do, always do something, that's the thing. You know, but always try to aim to get out of those places, because I did, do you know what I mean? Because they're just like stepping stones, if you ask me, mm. these places. But a lot of people, they go in there and they start making friends in there and they don't want to leave. Mm. Or they feel at home, or, you know, so on. You know, they've been there for a number of years and they just don't want to, they're too scared to move. Yeah. On, if you sort of mean. They don't want to pro make progress on what they've already got. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm not putting people down here, you know, mm. you know, because I, ju I think like this, this matrix of this business world we're living in is really sort of making a lot of people happy. You know, mm. make some people happy. Yeah. For sure, you know, if, if you're on the, you know, if you're on like, the top boss, mm. <laughs> you know, not necessarily though, some bosses are very angry and unhappy. Mm. You know, a lot of them are actually, not yeah. very unhappy people, mm. if you ask me. No, it's not like I say. It's not a big house or a big fancy car that will make you money. Mm. I'm happy. Mm. It's um, appreciating being alive. Yeah. Being, you know, being, you know, because you'll be gone soon anyway. Mm. So another two hundred years, we'll be all gone, all of us. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone that's alive. Today. The only thing. Sorry. Yeah. yeah sorry. No, yeah, like you said, everything that's alive today in two hundred years will be gone. Yeah. The only thing that exists, maybe, is this movie. Yeah, what it still exists, yeah. <laughs> if, it's on if, 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 if the internet is what it is today. Yeah. yeah. That's it, you know, we don't know, do we? No, it's true. We, we might come back as ghosts, you never mm. know. <laughs> in a thousand year time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we'll continue to live, mate. We're just in a spirit yeah. form. Do I want to? In an energy form. I don't know whether I want to, Josh. Well, I think your energy has to has to go to a different, has to go back to a higher dimension. Yeah, <laughs> this you is know. the highest dimension I think. Yeah, you know, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Being awake it's and being alive, you can't you can't get any higher than being alive and being awake. Surely, well, the, the, being, surely. being in a physical body is the third dimension. This has got to be the. No, but our planet is a three dimensional planet. We are three dimensional beings essentially. I thought it's four. No, our planet is a three. Our planet is a three-dimensional plane. A three-dimensional okay. plane, essentially. Okay. Um, and be a three-dimensional being, if you see what I mean. But when you die, your spirit you can return to you know you can, you can we might return to the fourth or fifth dimension, if you see what I mean. You know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, that's a much deeper conversation for another you know. Yeah. For another episode, for sure, you know. Um, yeah. Well, I think that was. Quite a progressive show, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely. I think so. Um, I quite enjoyed it. The goal every day is to make progress. You know, the goal is to become a better. Like we always say, but we continue to say it. It's it's to, to be the best version of yourself every single day. You know, um, to grow as a person. You know, um, to evolve. Um, so it's like Josh. You, you, I think Josh is sort of like half my age almost, aren't you? Really. Yeah. But I think, you you know, you're better than me in some ways. That's what goes to, do you know what I mean? I, I accept that, do you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm better, I can do things maybe that Josh can, so mm. something, you know, mm. you know, and so on. I think we all got our own little gifts mm. out here, you know. And it's no good sort of, you know, some people sort of explode up like that and they think they're better than everyone else. And that's yeah. it, do you know what I mean? They live in their own galaxy, mm. <laughs> you know, whatever. Mm. Um, how I look at it is like, well, I'm, I'm, well, personally anyway, like I'm big on being humble. Like, yeah, I think humility is the key in life. You know, humility gets you a long way. You know, just staying humble and, and understanding that no, no matter how much success you might, no matter how much you might attain in life in terms of like success or achievements or some for some people fame even. 
like just remember too that you're still a human being you know, you're, you're no better than anyone else if you see what I mean you're still a human being like anyone else you know just because you might have acquired more materialistic um, achievements than other people or material, have more like material gain or value than other people and it doesn't make you a better human being than other people if you see what I mean um, what makes you a good human being is your character your personality your um, wisdom as well yeah your traits I mean it's yeah. like me I mean I feel like I'm a lot wiser than I was 10 years ago yeah Yeah. but I want to help you know use my wisdom really to help others mm. if you sort of mean you know no, mm. I don't want to I don't want anything do you know what mm. I mean I, I, I've got everything I want in life do you know what I mean mm. I feel happy with what i got I mean I, I'd like a little bit more you know obviously a little bit more money but I really don't I mean it's like my Facebook or I, I like posting on it sometimes you know mm. I spend maybe an hour on it a day right and I really enjoy it you know because yeah. I'm learning and my friends enjoy it too mm. I don't get a penny for it yeah, in, yeah. in fact it costs me money mm. you know and electricity yeah. and so on internet mm. I do it purely because you know I, I, I do love animals and all this and nature mm. and my, fr my friends really appreciate what I do do you know what I mean I get quite, a, I mean, it's my birthday. <coughs> uh, a couple, Excuse me. Uh, it's my birthday a couple of weeks ago, you know, and I, mm. I was there all day sort of catching up with all the... All the, all the messages. All the and love. Whatever, all the love, you know, yeah. Mm. And so on, you know, and it's it's a bit tiring sometimes, you know, but it's, it's good fun. But you know, it's, nice, it's good fun having all the love, you know, and I've even had... Exactly. I've even yeah. had a guy said from New York, you've changed my life and saved my life, you know what I mean? You know, by maybe... A, quote that I shared, you know, and so on, do you know what I mean, so I, I mean, when I post something, you know, so you can imagine it might be a rare animal, and then when it's got a quote on top of it too, yeah, it, it's quite powerful in a kind of way, you know, because it don't matter what, what, you know, we've all got eyes, and that's the thing, you know, it don't matter if you're young, and whether you're old, we all see the same thing, yeah, you know, so I, when I post something, I, you know, I've got some young friends, mm. you know, some, and I've got some old friends, you know, yeah. and they love, you know, some some young, you know, some people might not be to read, but they love the images, do you know what I mean? But some people, you know, a lot of people do know to read, and they really love the quotes because they kind of like learn, might learn something about themselves through it, mm. you know. And I, I kind of, that's why I do it for myself, you know. I, I post it generally because I've enjoyed the post, and I yeah. learned something from it. And I know that other people are going to appreciate it and they might learn something from it. Okay. Know? Yeah. And yeah, I don't get a penny for it. Yeah. You know, I should be getting paid for it, really. You know, yeah. I think Facebook should be paying me for it, but yeah. you know, they don't give you any money, do they? Mm. I don't think. Mm. You know. But be, it would be lovely. If I earned a living from doing it, that would make me a bit happier. Mm. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, if, I, if Facebook would pay me for it, mm. basically. Yeah. You know, I feel like it's progress, even though I don't get paid for it. No, it's progress well, because yeah, well, I'm learning each day. Another, you know, another, I'm learning a little bit each day. And other people are, are benefiting yeah. from. You know, from I mean, I'm working well. on the word magic at the moment. Do you know what I mean? And I, you know, I've got this site called Goodreads, and it's a fantastic site, honestly. If you like quotes and books and all that, you know, it's, it's a bit like Google itself, but it's all you know. It's the, it's the Google of quotes, is it? That's fantastic, you know, there's yeah. so many people on it, it's unbelievable, you know, it's mm. a big site, and, you know, you name it, if you put Albert Einstein, you'll see all his quotes, you know, or if you put the keyword magic in, you'll see all the magic quotes coming up, you know, the top ones first, to the bottom ones, you know what I mean, there's pages and pages of them, and it's the best site I've ever found in my life, do you know what I mean, and, you know, it, it's a bit like Facebook in a funny way, you know, where, you know, you get friends sending you requests, you know, time and all that you know I've got I feel like it's progress yeah definitely, every day definitely yeah and as a sh you know as a show we've made a lot of progress yeah yeah as a show we've made a lot of progress you know for the last 18 months I guess two years you know you've come a long way yeah as a podcast you know um I still a long long well, way to, I still a long long way to go you know I believe yeah. personally you know, there's, there's plenty more subjects to talk about in the future isn't it yeah definitely you know? Anyway, mate, before we wrap it up and call it a night for this week's episode, any final words, any closing statements, anything at all you want to leave with the people before we get out of here? Yeah. Yeah? 
I think like if you if you really want to make progress in life, you just got to believe in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Keep working. Yeah, just believe in yourself and don't give up. Mm. You know, just you 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 gotta just try to be happy in life. You know. Yeah. Just know you know you're not gonna have anything good to remember. Otherwise, I'll be. Yeah, that's there. true. So yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say really, you know. Just stay I'm getting a bit tired to be honest with you. Yeah. You know? My advice would just be pretty much just exactly what you just said, but just stay focused. Um, don't be deterred. Um, everyone has obstacles and things that they hurdles that you know arise in life from time to time that we have to overcome. Um, and try to you know come out the other side better and or learn something from it if you see what I mean. We've all got to learn. Um, all. Yeah. Um, so sometimes you have to. Sometimes in life, you know, you have to you have to face these things in order to get stronger, um, or in or in order to you know get further in life. You know, to evolve as you know as a person or in your career or whatever in life. If you see what I mean. Um, so don't be deterred. Just keep going. Stay focused. Um, Try to maintain the same the same kind of passion that you've always had for whatever it is that you want to achieve, and try to maintain that level of passion, and try to remember what your you know what the original intention is behind it, you know behind what it is that you want to achieve, um, and just work your hardest towards you know to work towards um, sorry towards um, working towards that if you see what I mean, um, and making it kind of like your number one priority in life. Don't worry, um, other people are doing better than you. No, no, just focus on your own individual progress. Don't like they said, comparison is the is the thief of all joy, as they say. So don't be comparing your comparing your progress and everything else towards other people. Jealousy in it. Focus it in. exactly. Focus on your own individual progress, and as long as you're as long as you're progressing and things are improving and getting better, grow better like a flower. that's it. Exactly. Just keep going and putting the work in. Work the putting the work in is the most important part. And just stay focused, like I said earlier, that's the main thing. Anyway, good night, God bless, we are the Philosophy Podcast, we'll be back again with a, with a brand new episode, so please stay tuned for that. Good night, God bless.